So inside of each building where we have these edge networks, we want every one of these networks to look like this, where there's fiber to your core location, you have an aggregation switch, you have edge switches that then provide service to individual computers or access points or whatever you're serving inside of that building. Now we recognize that it might not be possible to afford to build out your network in that fashion. So we can take an incremental approach. We can run fiber to the core and place one switch inside of a building and serve all the computers we can serve off of that one switch. And as we get additional funding, we can place a second switch. Maybe that second switch is on a different wing of the building or that switch is on a separate floor. And then from that switch, we will serve all the computers that can be served from there. And then we just simply repeat that by adding additional network racks and switches in this hub and spoke final configuration that we originally showed. We want to encourage you to resist the urge to save money by breaking this model and daisy chaining networks or buildings together. So you see in this diagram, it was easiest from a network rack and the far wing of the building to serve an adjacent building by simply running a CAT6 cable out the window and to a switch in an adjacent building. We don't want you to do that. If you're going to do that at times, and, and we have, I, I, I have certainly done this kind of activity where I have a bunch of very small buildings all clustered together. I will choose one building where I will run fiber to, and each building will simply be a separate network rack that's served off the central aggregation switch in the one building with fiber.